Call them in there, sis. Call them. Oh, yeah. Call them ducks in there. Oh, yeah. Do it again. Give them a comeback call. Give them a hell call. Give them a feeder call. Give them a chuckle. Perfect. Yo. 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 Oh, what's that? What is that right there? What is... Oh, look at that beauty right there. I wear every single chain even when I'm in the house because we started from the bottom now we're here. So we are out here in the garage. I really wanted to do this video out back, you know, out in the grass, out in the yard, but it is still dark outside. So we have brought the blind in the Foul Friday man cave. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I've had a lot of, a lot of, a lot, a lot of you guys say, hey Bobby, I need some tips on layout blind you know, essentials. So what, what are some safety tips? What, how do you use it to your advantage? How, how do you shoot well out of them? The whole nine yards. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cover some of my basics that I stick to while hunting out of the layout blinds. Alrighty then, nothing like laying on some concrete in the garage looking like an idiot. <laughs> but guys, we're going to start this video out with gun handling in the layout blind. Now, I know a lot of you guys have hunted out of layout blinds, but a lot of you haven't. We have a lot of beginner waterfowlers on the channel now uh, that are watching, that are asking great questions, and that's what this video is all about. First of all, my number one rule, anytime, any blind, A-frames, laydowns, doesn't matter, gun on safety until you're ready to shoot them birds. Other than that, uh, my main thing about layout blind hunting. As most of you know, you're going to have all your layout blinds side by side. So you're going to have a buddy here and a buddy there. Never lay your gun sideways where the barrel is pointed to another person. It should always be pointed down, away from everybody. No matter if it's on safety or not, which it should always be on safety, but it should be pointed to your feet, away from you. Doesn't matter if you have it on you, doesn't matter if you have it on the ground next to you. Barrel always pointed to your feet. So moving on from safety, that's really the two safety tips that I have. It's easy to put your gun sideways, guys. It's really easy. Make sure that thing is out straight, safety on at all times. Can't be much more safer than that in a layout blind. Now, moving on, uh, tips to hunting. Now, I'm gonna take the old hat off. My tip, if I'm not calling birds, so you know here lately a lot of you haven't heard been hearing me call in my later goose videos from last season, it's because I'm recording. I either have a camera in my hand, or a camera on my head, something. So, when I am not calling, I will always keep a hand on my gun. So, when I'm, when I'm not calling, I'm always going to have my hand on my gun, just like so. Reason being, is when them birds get low enough, it is that much easier to, ah, God, ah, God, completely nailed myself. Ah, <laughs> let's try that again. Reason being, when the birds are coming, you want to be able to pull up and shoulder your gun as fast as you can. So that being said, boom, already have a hand on there. Now, if you have it laying beside you guys, watch this. I don't, you know, I'm calling. This is if you're calling. You're calling. You're calling them in, blah, blah, blah. Here they come. You got to grab it and then pull it up. So, like I said, if you can keep it on your lap, I usually will prop it on my foot. I'll usually prop it like this on my foot, hold it with one hand. Like I say, if you're calling, if I'm calling, I will lay it on my legs, point it down away, you know, down towards my feet. Not pointed at my foot. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. But your lap is a safe place as long as you're on safety, guys. So if I'm calling, at least I will be able to call. I'm using both hands, both hands to call, using both hands to call. And then the birds come in, I'm, I'm able to drop my call, flip up, and it's right there to grab. So my main tip to shooting out of a layout bar is have your gun the most accessible that it can be in order to draw your gun faster, get your gun shoulders sh bleh, shouldered as fast as you can. 
so you can shoot more birds, get on the birds faster before they get out of the kill pocket. Oh, but, like I'm saying guys, my main tip for shooting out of a layout blind is having your gun accessible, very accessible, so you can reach it fast and shoulder that gun as fast and safely as you possibly can. The quicker you can do that, the more birds you're going to shoot before they get out of the pocket. Now that's my main kind of safety and shooting tips, you know, primarily. You can have the gun laying beside you. A lot of people will leave the gun laying beside them, you know. In some instances, it is a little safer to not have it on your lap, I will agree, but when you get used to it being on your lap, you're actually in control of that gun, and it's, you know, if you have your safety on and you're aware of what where your barrel is pointed at all times, you'll be good to go and you'll have that gun in your lap which will be a lot better, a lot easier to get it shouldered faster before them birds get out of that kill hole. Now my tips as far as you know grassing uh, blinds now this blind here obviously we have some grass left on it from last year a little bit there and a little bit on the hood. This being a brown blind not camo we like to uh, mud these up. So what we'll actually do, I'm sure a bunch of you know yet again, and we'll smear mud all over these things, just cake them in mud so it blends into the ground a little more and it kind of gets that shimmer off of that fabric. See how that fabric kind of shimmers and kind of shines in the light? It'll, it'll knock all that shine and all that shimmer off of that blind so it blends in with the dirt 10 times better. Now, a lot of my long-term subscribers and viewers know that I swear by the Power Hunters. This is the blind that I have always used. We've always used the Power Hunters. The reason being, I said this in the last Lay Down Blind video, but I will say it again because I know we have a lot of new viewers, is because that this thing is not a hotel. It is literally a bag down here in the leg portion. And the only bars you have to deal with is this bar that keeps the back upright. So it's very low, low profile, which, you know, that's what means the most to me. Low profile, low to the ground. I necessarily, for one, don't like the incredibly tall, you know, fortress freaking hotels of layout blinds. I think that they stick up too high off the ground and they're not natural at all. Being natural in any type of hunting, whether it's A-frame, whether it's lay down, any, you know, duck, goose, doesn't matter. The more natural presentation you can get is the better. So, being low profile, the power hunter just kills the game. One thing I can really say about layout blind hunting is that it's not comfortable. It really isn't. It's not comfortable. You're, you're kind of crammed in a small space. You, you have to shoot out of it, you have to get up, you literally have to sit upright and shoot up. A lot of things are not natural about hunting out of these. So your back, the way you're sitting, and the way you're shooting, the way you're having to come up quick, all those things make it a little tough to hunt out of layout blinds. But if you can get in a rhythm where you know where your gun is, you know, that, that's the main thing. Get in a rhythm, put your gun in the same spot, every single time. The more you can put your gun, you know, whether it's on your lap or wherever most accessible for you, most safest and accessible for you, do it every time. Don't switch up. Put it in that same spot because it's what you're wanting to do is basically create a knee-jerk reaction to where you automatically know where your gun is. You don't even have to look to grab for it. Your, your hand's already on it, whatever the case may be. Do it the same every single time. Anything, you know, when it comes to hunting, shouldering your weapon should become a knee-jerk reaction. Now, that being said, doing it safely, making sure your gun is fully mounted on your shoulder, uh, those things, getting it to that point the quickest possible is essential. But really, guys, you know, as far as blinding goes, mudding your blinds in, uh, you guys know where to put these things. I don't have to tell you that. If you guys want me to show you how to blind them in and, and, and how to do all that jazz, or if there's something that I missed, it, it, maybe it's not even about layout blind hunting, 
If you guys have an idea for a video, a how-to Foul Friday video, let me know in the comment below. I will do it. If it's good enough, I've, I, you know, I've done many of these videos that you guys have suggested. Uh, your guys' suggestions are seriously some of the best videos that I've done. So I appreciate every single one of your guys' comments. Faux show. So guys, Flair and the entire Ducks team is coming down to my house this weekend. This weekend is my birthday weekend, so we are going to have some tasty treats coming up for you guys. So stay tuned for that. You guys don't want to miss that. On top of that, I have shown you guys this hat. This is my favorite hat. This is the black on black ducks. Absolutely love it. It is, in my opinion, our sickest, freaking baddest ass hat that we have. You guys should go pick this bad boy up if you like it, as well as my old lucky freedom lanyard. Both of these will be linked in the description below. But I haven't got to uh, say this very much lately. The subscriber rate is freaking awesome. I'm loving it every single day, guys. We're getting ready to hit 6,000. I think it's been, you know, what, like eight, nine months, something like that. 10 months maybe that the channel's been up. I think I uploaded my first video last year, late, late, late November, if not December 1st. So we're not even a year old. We're coming up on 6,000 subs. I cannot thank each and every one of you guys enough. I, I appreciate you guys so much. This is why I do these videos for all you beginners, for all you avid waterfowlers like myself. I love communicating with you guys. I love reading your comments. I love just staying in tune with you guys. I, we're creating a family out here. We, we're creating a movement with ducks, the next generation. I'm so glad all you guys are here and on board with us. But if you have not followed me on Instagram right here, I would greatly appreciate it. I always keep it pretty active over there. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, do it now. You don't want to miss out all this freaking badassery that's getting ready to happen all season long. I thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my